Today is day nine of the circuit breaker measures that has been implemented in Singapore. Essentially, it's to keep us all at home and to go out only for food or grocery run or to attend to essential and necessary activities. So today I get to go out because I had to go to the hospital for a checkup. And on the way back, I was talking to my Grab driver and he was sharing with me about his circumstance. He was saying that pre-COVID-19, he was able to earn enough to cover both his rental as well as fuel and to make a nice profit. But now, he, all, he can only choose to cover either the rental or the fuel and not both. And I was saying that, how long can this last? And he shook his head. He said, well, nobody knows. And, and so that kind of reminded me that, you know, at times when we face an overwhelming amount of uncertainty, it becomes irrelevant to plan because whatever plans that we make in the next couple of days, because of how things are evolving in the next couple of days, some of these plans might become irrelevant or some of the conditions would have changed or some of the assumptions would have changed. And, and so many people kind of either A, resort to living day by day and kind of being just reactive to whatever circumstance and whatever life throws at them, or B, they kind of just freeze altogether. And I guess for people like us who who have experiences of anxiety and depression, um, this becomes very real because when there is a high level of, of uncertainty, we may default to a situation whereby we just freeze in terms of what we're supposed to do. And, and I like to draw this thing back to, you know, how we are going to face this current situation in the best way possible. And I think the way to tackle and to face this situation the best way possible is three things. Number one is to embrace that mindset that nothing is permanent, nothing is it's absolutely right, nothing is absolutely wrong. Because a couple of weeks back, our government has been saying that if you're not unwell, you shouldn't be wearing a mask. However, today they have instituted and say that anyone who goes out must wear a mask. It becomes mandatory. So what was, what was not right or what was not necessary a couple of weeks ago became absolutely necessary right now. So first is to embrace that thinking that nothing is absolutely right or nothing is absolutely wrong. There are just no absolutes in this current circumstance. That's number one. Number two is to be very firmly rooted in terms of the values that we have. And the values that we have will, of course, determine the behavior and how we would behave. Now, under stress, many of us might do something that it's not in, not congruent with our values. And as a result of that, we might regret our actions later on, or we might become embroiled with, or be responsible for the actions that we have taken and the outcomes it, it brings. So it's, it's very crucial for us to be very firmly rooted in a set of values. And the third thing that I think many of us need to embrace in this current period is to learn and to learn quickly and to be able to learn and apply and share it because things are moving so fast right now. Circumstances are changing even as we speak. Like I said, you know, a couple of weeks ago, what was not the norm is now the norm at this point in time. And so we need to learn, we need to learn new skills, we need to learn new ways, we need to retool ourselves to be able to take on what life throws at us instead of just being absolutely reactive to the current situation. What are your strategies for coping with the current situation? Share it with me, I'd like to know.